Charles. Back to the channel. So today's video, we are going on a hunt, and I am taking you guys with me. So here's the clip of that hunt. Okay, guys. So we about to hit up this Target right here at the Edison Mall. So last time I came in here, we got super lucky and found the Ninja Turtle 2 pack. So let's hope we can find some more. I highly doubt it, but it's worth a shot. So guys, look what I found in the Target new WWE Legends section. It's pretty awesome. They have my boy Eddie, rest in peace. Check the snake, which actually pretty cool. Who is this? I'm wonderful. Who is this? Oh, Paul Ordinoff. And of course, Ultimate Warrior himself. Rest in peace. So I might pick up Eddie. So I really like this Eddie. And the Ultimate Warrior. Look at that. Look at his face scrub. It's actually pretty good. So yeah, I might pick these two up. I'm gonna look around and see what else they have. Actually, I did look around. They really have nothing much. But I'm going to pick up these two. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So you guys can tell I definitely picked up a few figures. Now, I was kind of regretting not picking up Jake the Snake Roberts. The more I think about it. But I ended up picking up Eddie Guerrero. There was no way I was not walking out of there with Eddie Guerrero. He was one of the few wrestlers when I was watching growing up as a kid. That I absolutely loved. I loved Eddie Guerrero. Um, when he passed away, it was one of the few times I ever felt emotion toward any, not just wrestler, but any like character or person on TV. Um, the first time I ever felt emotion about him, I actually cried. Um, it's not funny, but I actually cried um, when he when he passed away, man. So pretty pretty sad, man. It was uh, he was definitely one of my favorites. Um, Eddie Guerrero, Viva Raza. I love the quote that it has here. So he would lie, he would cheat, he would steal, but there was no denying that Eddie Guerrero was one of the greatest performers to ever lace up the pair of boots. After making his mark in ECW, WCW, and around the world, Eddie finally won the WWE Championship in 2004, but the impact that could still be felt to this day, there's no getting enough of Latino heat. And that is 100% true, man. Um... When he first won that title, it felt like the whole world won the title. Um, I really love this um, this figure, so there was no way I was not walking out of there with um, him as well. And then we also picked up one of my brother's favorite wrestlers of all time, and definitely one of my favorites, even though he was definitely past my era growing up because I was an Attitude Era. He was a little bit before that, you know, he was 1980s wrestler and this is the ultimate warrior um my brother absolutely loved him growing up my brother used to watch wrestling um and yeah there was i remember watching his last speech before the day before he actually passed away which is actually pretty sad because he ended up it felt like to me that he knew he was gonna like he was gonna go um because he went into wwe and he gave the most heart warming no heartbreaking like i guess you could call it heartwarming heartwarming speech it was definitely confusing the the speech that he gave and i was like what you know um but i believe it he kept he said like uh keep on fighting okay it says it right here on the back on raw I, on the raw after the we hall of fame induction ultimate warrior delivered a legendary speech to all the warriors in the WWE universe, every man's heart one day beats its final beat. His lungs breathe their final breath, and and if what that man did in his life makes the blood pulse through the body of others, his spirits will be immortalized by the memory of those who honor him. You are the legend makers of Ultimate Warrior. That was the the speech that he gave before he passed away. It was crazy. Um, like I said, it's like he knew. He was going to go and um, I believe he was walking to his car and I believe he had a heart attack. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, if I got it wrong, I apologize. But it was still one of the most heartbreaking, heartwarming speeches I ever heard. 
um, definitely an unusual type of speech. But still, man, that was definitely one that I would definitely have to pick up because, like I said, the Ultimate Warrior, you know, him running into the ring, you know, shaking the ropes. Um, it was <laughs> definitely crazy. If you <clears throat> if you were 1980s baby, you know Ultimate Warrior, and you know his wars with Macho Man and Randy, uh, um, um, Hulk Hogan, and um, a lot a lot of others. But yeah, definitely one of my favorites as well. Then I didn't record, but I picked up. Oh, I know I didn't even I didn't even know that it was hitting stores right now. Um, it was in GameStop, so um, the reason why I didn't record in there is because the section was so small, like it was super small. And um, the guy said, "Oh yeah, we're changing things around." So when I was looking on the shelves, I seen Spawn. I was like, ah, oh, it's probably the spot I already have. So when I pulled it out, it was actually the Bud Field Hunter Spawn, which is the white version with the blood splattered on it and with the battle axe. So pretty cool to see this. The, be my, the best things about Spawn is he has so many other iterations. You can collect all the Spawns um, and definitely one even though it's this kind of reuse from the original spawn that we already had from the first wave it's actually pretty cool to see these in stores um and gamestop surprisingly to have it um but yeah that's actually pretty cool so there is that and then last but not least in this video we are going to unbox this it was one I, it's actually one I've been holding off. I, I've had it for a while already. I just was waiting for the right time to actually record. And it is from Black Series, the Armorer. So that's actually pretty cool. I love the boxes that come with it. But as you guys can tell, it slides right open. Um, this and Cad Bane was actually pretty cool. Actually, in the GameStop, I did see the Cad Bane by itself but since i already have the exclusive cad bane i was like there's no reason for me to pick that up but here is the armorer and i love this because it comes with the mando helmet so that's actually pretty dang cool um so uh, she is a little bit smaller than i thought she would be but i love that it comes with all the accessories that she uses but yeah so badass and then here is the back so let's get straight into this and i'll be right back can you take care of the package this is what she looking yeah from the show it actually looks like her really represent good representation of her on the helmet um the cape <laughs> uh i don't know i don't know how i feel about this uh the type of material i guess you know i mean i guess it, it represents the show but i don't know just all these little fairy little thingies hanging off and it coming off. I don't know how I feel about that. And then here's the inside of the cape. Um, yeah, I don't know the type of the cloth this is, but it's supposed to be like wool, I guess. You know, of course, it's not real wool, but, um, you know, that's what it's supposed to be, I guess. But yeah, there is that. And then I, I really love the horns on top of the head sticking out of the helmet. There is that. But here is the side look of it. Uh, and there's a little bit damage to it. And I really, really like that as well. And then here is the back. Okay. And then here is the whole body itself. So actually pretty good. I love the maroon type underneath it. Um underneath this is actually just a gray shirt there's like a big thing in the middle of her oh, okay that's supposed to be for the thing so that's not supposed to be coming off <laughs> so there is that that she has some brown um gloves as well as four uh, forearm pads uh yeah so there is that as far as her dress is concerned i guess not a dress but i don't know what you call this towards the bottom her waist there is that i really love the color is it i know the the light is giving it more shine to it but it looks pretty good in the light love the brown boots as well she got the brown stripes going down 
so there is that and then here's like all the other accessories she comes with so i guess you could make it look like she is marking on the mando helmet and then the thing about the mando helmet you know there's no black on the inside of it so it looks like it's just being made right now then there's some little yellow with bluish colors in the inside of the, uh, or the outside of the helmet so there is that all oh, the inside as well so there is that and yeah that's a pretty much the end of that then you got this uh, to make it look like it's actually being worked on you know, she has all types of different um, accessories. I guess you could plug this into here. So it makes it look like it's pounding. You know, this is the hammer. Then the actually, the the thing to actually pull it out. I guess the, the fire poker. No, no, what you call this? The gripper? I don't know what you call that crap. I don't know the fucking tools. <laughs> the name of these damn tools. But there is this as well. And then another smaller little hammer type thing. So yeah, pretty cool, um, pretty cool figure as well. I thought she would be a little bit taller, but oh, it's whatever. You know, it's the armor. Not really much to her character as well, but yeah. So you can mess around with the figure. So now let's mess around with the other figure as well. Okay, so when you take out the Ultimate Warrior, this is what he looks like, and actually pretty good head sculpt. Now, if you guys pay attention to Mattel, you guys know pretty much a lot. You guys know about their head sculpts, and sometimes their head sculpts are absolutely freaking horrible. But with this figure, it actually looks pretty dang good. I really like it. Um, definitely looks like the old version of Ultimate Warrior, um, because it is the old version of Ultimate Warrior. And then, you know, like I said, he was wearing the gray suit, you know, when he walked into the ring for... The last final time, which is actually and it's so sad, man, to even just mention that. But yeah, the the gray suit actually looks pretty dang good on him. I love the boots there as well. But the, to me, it's the jacket, uh, of course. So you can actually take this off and actually put it onto his uh, on his head if you want him to actually wear the Ultimate Warrior mask. So yeah, that's how he looks with the mask. And yeah, it still looks pretty good if you ask me, but I'm not gonna use that like that. And then here is the back, and this is my favorite part, is the, the robe. You know him, it looks like the Intercontinental Championship when it actually meant something, <laughs> you know, back in the days. And um, yeah, I really love the, the whole jacket, the whole design to this, uh, to this um, jacket as well. Just, you know, it has the red, and green splattered all over it but yeah this jacket is actually pretty dang cool really really love this uh, let me see what it says always okay it says always believe so the reason why it's not going down is because i had his arm in a certain position but yeah it says always believe okay that's actually pretty dang cool but yeah, man, really, really unfortunate that he passed away. But last final look of the Ultimate Warrior. Um, of course, he has the mic as well. He has two other hands that's like pointing down, but I'm not gonna show that off. Like, and I could say maybe the head sculpt's a little bit off, especially when it comes down to his um his eyes. You know, the eyes aren't centered as much. At least the right eye is it, uh, or is that his left? Yeah, my right, your left. So there is that. No, no, no. What am I talking about? My right eye. <laughs> or his right eye. There is that. But, uh, that yeah, of course, you know, his um, tank top says, I am your poppy. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. That he always was known for having the flames um, on his trunks as well. And then on his buttocks, it says Latino. Um... Yeah, this is when he was the Latino Heat uh, character. Um, and then he has the flames as well on his boots. Really, really like that. Then he has his tattoo right here. Uh, pretty dang cool. If you ask me, I love the hairstyle to this. I'm going to have to get a uh, China to go with him as well. So this one, I guess you, you can use whatever hand to go with it. But I, I kind of like this because I would like to have him flexing. Because he was known for 
flexing. Um, I think it was him and Triple H where they had that standoff with the flex, the flex standoff. I think it was him. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. But I, I think that was a really, really good episode. And like I said, man, really unfortunate that he passed away. So the rest of this line has Jake the Snake, which I might pick up, and Mr. Wonderful Paul Ordoff. Um, I don't know too much about Paul, but that's towards my like my uncle's era. He knows more about Paul Ordinoff more than I do. But Jake the Snake, I know a lot about Jake the Snake. So I would definitely get a um Stone Cold Steve Austin to face off against Jake the Snake because that's what Stone Cold, if you guys don't know, that's what Stone Cold base basically based his character off is um Jake the Snake Roberts. Um but yeah, actually pretty dang cool. So last final look of Eddie Guerrero. Rest in peace, brother. Take this figure out of package. This is what he looks like. And look at that. Look at his eyes just flowing. Oh my god, this the just the green. Maybe it's the 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 light that's actually bringing it more more color, but bang, it actually looks so dope. Um and then here is kind of like the X as well it has the green eyes as well you know it has uh the spawn emblem to it as well it has some blood on the axe as well that's actually pretty cool and then here is the side look of spawn of course he has the big uh, pointy thing on the cape that's showing off but if i pull it down here is the side look of the head as well and then here is the back of the head so there's that. I love how it looks like it's an old, um, like, dead person inside of it. With, of course, that's what Spawn is. But, yeah, it's actually pretty dang cool. And then the whites on his body is actually pretty, pretty low. I love how it's kind of, like, mixed. It's not really white, but it's, like, old, rotten, dead skin. I really, really love that look when it comes down to this figure. And, you know, it has the blood splatter all over his body. Then it has the, I guess, uh... I don't know his red detail going across and then he has the spike um arm pads as well as the hand um as well as the shoulder or the forearm or I don't know biceps there you go <laughs> yeah so there is that I just totally butchered that, by the way. I know you guys noticed that as well. And then here's the big one that's actually pretty dang cool. I really like the design of it. Look at the designs of the, the actual bones that's coming out. That's actually pretty dang cool. And then here is the chain that's going across his legs. So it actually wraps around his body. And then here is the back. So, and then the buttocks. So there is that. And then he has the pouches right there. And then, uh, I still don't know the name to this. I don't know what you call this. Um, but actually pretty dang cool. It's going all around his leg. And then here's the other the other leg too. So yeah, let's see how flexible he is. So, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, pretty dang flexible. As you guys can see the joints on the inside. So there is that. And then let's see the leg. Oh, the, the legs, the feet don't move as much, so there is really limited, mostly because of this. That's actually stopping it, but this one actually moves because you guys can see the ball joint right there. Let's see the arms. Okay, he can raise his arm. He can't do a whole 360 because the cape. You would think that the cape would block it because the cape is overflowing on his shoulder, but it's actually not blocking it as much. So there is that. And then here is the torso. So it's a little twerk. But when it comes down to the head, the cape does block the head from moving. But if you pull the cape down, you could actually get it to move around in certain looks. So if you guys are putting it in certain positions, there is that. And then has the... Todd is trying to hide the gun hands. <laughs> As you guys can tell, look at that. He's trying to hide it, Todd. We know what you're doing. I'm just joking. But, yeah, this egg, these hands are just made basically to grab the mace. But, yeah, actually pretty dang cool. I really like that as well. 
or not the, did I say mace I mean the axe Jesus Christ I'm off, I'm off today as you guys can tell <laughs> super off but like I said pretty pretty good look then the cape itself is more of a rubbery type of color but I really like the cape the whole design of the cape looks pretty dang cool if you ask me um, like I said the light is bringing in more color but it looks pretty good but there is the last and final figure of this whole unboxing so yeah okay yeah that's all i got for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did enjoy this please consider hitting the like and the subscribe button helps the channel out tremendously keeps me motivated to keep doing videos just like this also i still got the other mcfarland figures to show off so a little bit of a mixed up if with um shipping um they still yet to come in um i'm gonna have to get a full refund i've been hitting up at targets i've been talking to the employees and they have no idea when the devastator wave is going to come out so really unfortunate hopefully i can get it pretty soon if not um yeah it's going to be a hunt to track those damn figures down i'm only missing three from those waves so there is that but guys that's all i got for you guys today you guys have a wonderful amazing day and see you guys Thank <music> you.